Hello everyone, my name is uh, Ojaswi Singh and I am currently entering into the second year of MSc at RCB and uh, a lot of people have uh, questioned me in my DMs regarding the interview process at RCB and what sort of questions are asked. So um, I thought it would be better if I just make a video summarizing the whole thing so that everyone can get to know, uh, I mean whoever wants to know can get to know uh, how the interview process is conducted at RCB. So yeah, let's start. So first of all, my interview was not conducted in an offline mode. My interview was conducted in an online mode because I could not manage to go to Faridabad um, on that particular date because uh, I was working at Baijus and they did not give me a leave for that day. So I conveyed the same message to the authorities at RCB. I told them that I won't be able to manage to come to RC Faridabad on that particular day because I'm not getting a leave from the company that I'm working in. So they were kind enough to arrange an online interview for me. So uh, in my interview panel, there were around nine to 10 professors, including the executive director, the registrar and the dean and other uh, professors were also there. So they, um, first of all, they kind of tried to break the ice and they, they were very friendly and they were trying to, you know, uh, make a situation in which I don't get too nervous so that I can answer their questions uh, normally <laughs> without getting nervous. So the dean was very kind. You can look him up actually. The dean sir is very nice and he was basically the major icebreaker in my interview. So they asked me questions regarding Baiju's and how I was finding it there since I was working there. and. Uh, did I find it interesting or not? So those were all sort of friendly questions. After which they came to the main questions, which was um, uh, from biochemistry. So they asked me about enzyme kinetics, different type of inhibitors and uh, uh, pH equations and how you can manage to set up, set the pH to a particular value and what sort of indicators would you use or which pH range and mole concepts. A lot of questions were asked from mole concepts. And the thing is that uh, I was told not to use a pen and pencil, like just uh, mentally do it. So that was good. After biochemistry, they asked me what my favorite subject was. And I was given the options of uh, mole bio, uh, mole bio and microbiology and genetics. So I said genetics because I was not very confident with microbiology. And whatever questions they asked from genetics were relatively simple and basic level. So whatever you have learned in BSc would be asked. Don't go, uh, don't go to the net level because the interview questions will be just from whatever you have learned in your BSc. They know that you have just done BSc right now, right? So they will ask you questions from BSc only. And then uh, they asked me um, questions from immunology. So uh, last year we were all being given booster doses and. Um, you know, it was pretty relevant last year. So they asked me questions about which vaccine I took and uh, what is the working principle behind that particular vaccine, who manufactures it. Then they asked me about the other vaccines, the principle behind the other vaccines, you know, so live attenuated viruses are there. Then there is just uh, your, you know, killed, killed virus. So those are different types of vaccines, basically. Then they asked me if I have taken tuberculosis vaccine and how that works and uh, the basics of vaccine um, you should know, I guess. I mean, you can invest a few hours in looking up how different type of vaccines work. Um, after that, they asked me questions from, they asked me just regular normal questions to check whether uh, you know, I have the thinking capacity or not. So they gave me a problem in which they said that uh, RCB has a lot of dogs and uh, you have to control the population. So how would you go about it? What will you do? So they were also checking how quickly I respond, how humanely I respond. And uh, I guess they also wanted to know a solution. <laughs> so that's there. And... Uh, yeah mm. then they asked me about my hobbies uh, what i like to do which was pretty much generic i guess they were trying to be friendly and uh, yeah so that was mostly it that was my interview uh, they did not ask me any question about uh, leaving tifr 
which I did write in my form. So yeah, I it was good for me and uh, yeah, they asked me questions regarding Baidu's, which was fine. Uh, they asked me why I wanted to leave by Jews and get back to you know studying. Why why I was leaving a job and getting back to studying. So yeah, I gave a good enough answer for that. And I just want to tell you that they might ask you why you want to join RCB. So you have to know why exactly you want to join RCB, right? You cannot give an answer like because of the stipend <laughs> or because RCB is a good institution. Like everyone knows it's a good institution. But why do you want to join it? What is your reason for joining it? So I would like to tell you that you can look up the labs that are there and what sort of work they are doing, you know, uh, develop a genuine interest in the institution. So all that is there. Uh, also, they might ask you to introduce yourself. So you have to come up with a good enough answer. So don't just say your name and where you have done your BSc from. You know, if you can add a few more sentences regarding why uh, you are uh, enthusiastic about science and research, that would be good. Frame a good enough answer. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions, um, you can either write uh, it in the comments or you can reach out to me on my Instagram. Or you can email me as well. Every, anything will be fine. I'll try to reply to as much as possible. Although it is possible that I might not get the time. But I'll try to reply to as much as possible. And as many questions as possible. And uh, yeah, all the best for your interview. And do well. <laughs> uh, also enjoy the process of the interview. It's pretty much enjoyable. So yeah, that's it. And um, all the best.